Today we're going to be talking about applications to the skin. Hi, I'm Kathy Getrist and I'm an instructor in community health. Warm and cold applications are used for a variety of reasons. They're only given with a written order from a physician and have a very specific period of time that they are to be applied. Some facilities only allow professional staff to uh, apply heat and cold, and some states have laws against unlicensed staff, such as yourself, applying these treatments. In other facilities, caregivers who have been specially trained are permitted to carry out these procedures under the supervision of the nurse. Given these differences, be sure that you are aware of the policy in your facility and are adequately prepared and supervised before doing any of these independently. There are a number of reasons why warm and cold is applied to the skin. One might be to relieve pain, to combat local infection, swelling or uh, inflammation. They might be used to control bleeding, alter the body temperature, or to reduce joint stiffness and help relax the muscles. There's a difference between dry and moist applications. A dry application means that no water actually touches the skin. It's just the heat or cold that touches the skin. A moist application is uh, an application where water does touch the skin. And this makes water, uh, the water addition makes the cool and warm applications much more penetrating and much more likely to cause injury. So extra care must be taken to protect the patient when moisture is used. There are high risk groups that receive warm and cold applications that need particularly close supervision. I'm thinking about young children that may not be able to report that they are experiencing any problems. Older adults, um, on other videotapes we've talked about older adults having decreased sensation on their skin. Sometimes patients that have mental impairments or cognitive impairments may not be able to report that there's a problem with the uh, warm or cold application. Patients who are unconscious and are totally unaware of the environment around them would not be able to let you know if there was a problem. People who are paralyzed, I'm thinking about someone that um, is paralyzed from the waist down and they're going to be having an application put on. They have no sensation in those legs when they're paralyzed and as a result you'd have to take special care uh, to be aware of problems if they were occurring. And also people who have poor circulation. Uh, diabetics uh, frequently have decreased sensation in their legs and may not be able to report a problem if it occurred. Cold applications are only given with a physician order and a number of reasons why cold would be applied. One is that it constricts or decreases the size of blood vessels. This is called vasoconstriction. The vasoconstriction helps reduce any swelling that might be there. Maybe you're aware of a sports injury when um, might be an ankle sprain or something to that effect. Ice will be applied to help prevent that ankle from swelling. Cold can also decrease sensitivity to pain. Um, headaches, uh, toothaches, maybe facial surgery, they'll apply cold to help um, relieve the pain from those um, things. Also, it can help reduce temperature. If someone has a very high temperature, I'm talking 105, 106 degrees, they will frequently use cold to help bring that temperature down. Also cold is used to slow an inflammatory process where there's redness and, and swelling and pain. Um, the inflammation 
can be uh, reduced by the application of cold. Also, cold can help reduce itching. Sometimes a medicated bath of cool water with, with uh, some particular medication applied to the water can be used for um, itching, could be due to an allergic reaction where there's been quite a bit of rash developed as a result. Remember, moisture increases the effect of cold just as it does with heat, and so caution must be used when applying a moist cold. Excessive cold can damage body tissues, and so be sure that you report any color changes such as cyanosis. Cyanosis is a bluish color. It's easier to see usually on someone's lips if uh, there is too cold uh, application. Or there could be blanching. Blanching is another term that means turning white or in a darker skinned individual kind of a gray, maybe even a ruby red color can occur. So note any color changes. Report any feelings of numbness, tingling, or loss of sensation or any other discomfort that you might be aware of. Stop the cold application if the patient starts to shiver. If someone starts to shiver, it really is counterproductive to be applying cold. The act of shivering uh, increases body temperature. So you certainly do not want them to start to shiver, particularly if they have a high temperature, as it will only increase it more. In that instance, you would want to stop the cold application and uh, cover the patient up so the shivering can stop and report it immediately. There are several methods for applying therapeutic cold. One might be the use of a disposable ice bag. These are single-use uh, bags that are commercially prepared and can be stored until they're needed. They usually remain effective for about 15 to 30 minutes. Because there are a wide variety of these single-use packs, be certain to follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully because they all differ a little bit. Uh, 